the U.S. Navy's carrier fleets once operated the F-14 Tomcat Air Superiority Fighter and the F-18 Hornet Multirole Fighter, both fourth-generation platforms with complementary roles. However, following the end of the Cold War and the shift towards the War on Terror, the F-14 was retired in 2006. The platform's unreliability and high crash rate, experienced by both the U.S. Navy and the Iranian Air Force, its only other operator, were significant factors in its retirement. This decision left the Navy vulnerable to rival powers, such as China and Russia, which possess their own advanced air superiority platforms like the J-15 and Su-33. To address this vulnerability, the U.S. Navy introduced the F-18E Super Hornet, a larger fighter based on the F-18 but with improved air-to-air -air combat capabilities and an extended range. While not on par with dedicated air superiority fighters like the F-14, the Super Hornet represented a significant upgrade from the original F-18 and aimed to enhance the Navy's fleet defense capabilities. However, the introduction of fifth-generation air superiority fighters by potential adversaries, such as China's J-20 and Russia's Su-57, has placed U.S. naval forces at risk of being outmatched in the air. The cancellation of the F-22 carrier program further exacerbated this situation. The upcoming fifth-generation F-35 degrees Celsius, designed as a light multirole fighter, will also be unable to fulfill an air superiority role. Consequently, the Navy's response has been to enhance the F-18 further, similar to their approach when facing the F-14's retirement. This enhancement effort will result in an upgraded version of the Super Hornet, often referred to as the Super Hornet Plus. This new fighter will be specifically designed to counter enemy stealth capabilities by integrating long-wave infrared search and track systems for long-range detection. While stealth fighters minimize their radar cross-section, they become more vulnerable to infrared tracking systems. The addition of IRST sensors provides the Super Hornet with a unique counter-air, counter-stealth targeting capability. The upgraded F-18 fighters will also incorporate new engines with increased power output, biennial hardware and software upgrades, and enhancements to the fighter's radar and electronic countermeasures suite. Although the capabilities of the enhanced Super Hornet will not match those of the planned F-22 carrier-based fighter, they will significantly reduce the vulnerability of carrier fleets to attacks by hostile fifth-generation air superiority platforms. In summary, the retirement of the F-14 and the cancellation of the F-22 program have left the U.S. Navy susceptible to the advanced air superiority fighters of potential adversaries. To counter this, the Navy is enhancing the F-18 Super Hornet, developing the Super Hornet Plus, which includes advanced sensors, improved engines, and upgraded systems. By specifically targeting enemy stealth fighters, the Navy aims to increase its chances of success without the exorbitant costs associated with developing a new carrier-based fifth-generation air superiority fighter. The upgraded Super Hornet is expected to be the first of many anti-stealth technologies the U.S military will employ to counter the fifth-generation fighter programs of Russia and China.